Good morning and welcome back to plan my Disney holiday. Today is a bright and early start for me today. I'm currently out walking Lilo um, because we are catching a train down to London. So we're going to do a few Disney themed activities. Hopefully give people inspiration on what to do if they can't get to the Disney park. So there is other stuff that you can do in the UK, maybe living in the UK or maybe going to come across and visit the UK. But here we're going to try and do some Disney, a Disney day out in London. Hi, Future Steve here. I just want to do a voiceover for what we've got going on. So this video was filmed in June. Unfortunately, with everything that was going on with my father passing, I didn't feel the confidence to actually do this video. I feel a lot better now. So I bring you this um, video first stop that we are going to go to is the Disney store um, in London so there's very limited Disney stores in the UK and London has got one of them so we head there first we've just got off at Bond Street station um, Oxford Street side and has taken us to the Disney store there uh, in about an hour we've got to go to our t we got our tickets to the Wallace collection so that would be the plan to do that in about an hour and then two o'clock Beauty and the Beast so let's have a look inside the Disney store this is one of the first times I've been to the Disney store in London I can't remember another time that I've been here so it is actually three floors of Disney merchandise they've got their seasonal goods from when you first walk in so we've got a Winnie the Pooh collection here and then we move on to a stitch collection here so again with it being summertime there was a lot of summer things available um, with a lot of travel ideas but it was a lot large selection and we now head down into the basement this one was more disney themed um, as you'll see later in the video the third floor is more marvel and star wars but down here we first come across the frozen selection of um, merchandise really well decorated i absolutely loved it um they've got brilliant statues that decorate the store just like i remember from my Disney stores from my childhood and we sort of headed to this collection we are big fans of Disney mugs we got a huge collection going on in our cupboards we're running out of space but as you can see there is a wide selection of mugs available in the Disney store and they even had some merchandise that was available from the parks and sort of their Christmas stock was starting to make an appearance so yeah if you're in Disney uh, store and you're wanting your Christmas goods you can get them like I said this was June here we have the collection of up with mugs and just other household goods and we even saw festival merchandise that was available this is from across the pond this is from Epcot in the flower and garden festival so there's like cups and just household goods again that you can get we weren't expecting to see much from the park so that's really surprising that there's there and there's even merchandise for lots a range of different characters so we've got princess and the frog and these books were really quite cool like old style books Next up, we come to the toy section. And as you can see, Toy Story is highly represented. A lot of Pixar actually, um, Cars and Monsters Inc. But uh, things that you would expect to see in the toy section, dolls, dress up, just toys in general that you would expect to see in the toy section. We even saw Hamilton, um, Funko Pops. So there was a wide range of Funko Pops. They're doing really well. Love the Wally and Eve there. And just pretty much if you can think of it it's here so i know that i said that upstairs had star wars collection but here is more of their toy base their models their characters the lightsabers that's here you've got um, everything represented uh, lego and you'll see the difference that you can have from what's available upstairs i do actually love the lego collection that disney have been doing so i'm very tempted continuing with the toy section down here we now come across the marvel section again more dress up there's more toys 
Um, anything you can think of for your young ones, you will find in this section. Downstairs was very influenced with your younger generation, your children. So there was dress up, there was clothes, there was toys. There's just anything you can think of that children would be interested in, you could find downstairs. We'll return back to the Disney store later in the video. Um, but first we needed to go to see Inspiring Walt Disney, the animation of French decorative art at the Wallace Collection. So we've had a quick shop around the Disney store and um, we just picked up um, Ellie but we're thinking we're probably going to head back and have a more bigger browse. They've got so much stuff that's going on in there. We didn't even explore the top floor so yeah we're definitely going to probably head back to the Disney store but we're just wandering towards the Wallace collection now and we'll see what we find if we can have a bite to eat when we get there. Alright. So we just finished our visit around the Inspire Disney. Um, the animation of French decorative arts and how it inspired different films. And it's like really quite intriguing. Um, fortunately photography wasn't allowed so what I'll do is while I'm talking or just to give you an idea I'll use photos from the book that we were able to see in the exhibition. It's fantastic. There's a mixture of like animated um, animation, like drawings, concept art, as well as objects from the French collection. And you can sort of see the inspiration that they had on the Disney animation. So yeah, it's really good. The uh, two combinations, it's been really well put together and just like some of the artwork is just fantastic. And it just, the inspiration that there was from the 18th century um, on the Cinderella and Beauty and the Beast. So yeah, hopefully I can get some pictures up and you can have a look at what I've been able to see. If you are a big fan of Beauty and the Beast, if you are a big fan of Cinderella, it is fantastic to find out and just to see the inspiration for the artists. So yeah, come on down. Um, I think I've, take, I've got a photo of the price list, so you've got an idea. But it's, yeah, it's a really good exhibition. If you're a big fan of Disney animation, it gives you an idea of how they were inspired. Now we return to the Disney store. Up on the third floor, so this is Marvel um, and Star Wars. So we're starting off with the Marvel and Lego collection and Star Wars Lego collection. You've got R2-D2, you've got the Millennium Falcon, you've got different scenes, you've got, I mean, they had these Lego structures, you had Thor, you've got R2-D2 there, and you've got, like, just a massive selection of different Lego pieces, le different Lego collections, so if you're a big Lego fan, there's a great selection up there. You've also got uh, statues as well available based on the comics, as you can see here, the X-Men. Or you've got some that's based on the film, like Captain America there. And some that I really liked are these two from Into the Spider-Verse. Um, I really enjoyed that animation. There was just a wide range of selection and props. So we have a Stormtrooper helmet there. And then you've got your coats, your mugs. And they had uh, Miss Marvel. Um, they've also got Doctor Strange available. There's Miss Marvel there. And it's not the Doctor Strange from the film. It was actually from the comics. There you go. There's that structure there. Uh, you've got a Captain America hoodie. You've got pins. Pretty much anything you can think of. Oh, there's Loki as well represented. Miss Marvel bags. That was all available. You've got Boba Fett's helmet in a case there on display. And if we go into this corner here, you've got Darth Vader's helmet and lightsaber. Next to is um, comic and cartoon inspired toys and merchandise so there was a huge selection of those and then we come to kylo ren life-size outfit there and so even if it isn't you're just looking at merchandise you're not interested there is some really good um like props and again more statues and just there's such a wide range clothes and this is star wars galaxy's edge so again representation from the parks is here so you could have all these um, animals and creatures from the Star Wars universe. You've got a lot of Grogu available. Obviously, he's doing really well. And you've got T-shirt designs. And you've got uh, prides available as well. So, ears. So, 
pretty much on the top of the third floor is some great collection for Star Wars and Marvel fans. We've had a second shot at the Disney store and it we were able to pick up a few bits and bobs, cups that we were interested, pins, just some small things that we wanted to sort of get. And now we're currently walking towards the theatre for Beauty and the Beast. Um, we've booked um, a brochure package thing, so it says to be there for two o'clock. So we're just heading that direction to, uh, and then find what we do next. So it's been a really good morning. It's very chilled out in comparison to what we normally do for um, London. We're not rushing around as much as we normally are. Right, let's get to the theatre. Once we got to the theatre, we found that it was extremely busy. There was a huge amount of different parties. There were schools, there was families, there was lots of things going on. So, and they were queuing right down the street. So I didn't want to really film because of there being school parties and everything like that. But um, you had to find your entranceway and then go and join the queue. We got in the queue, we were able to find our seats and take a seat before the show started. As you can see in the photo, we were actually quite high up for when we were watching the stage show of Beauty and the Beast. Um, not that it ruined it in any way, just a lot of stairs to get up there. But because of where we were sat, we got this amazing view of the whole entire theatre before the show even started. So it sort of like was even more worth it in the end. We were able to sit back and relax. We sort of sat on the stair side, so I had a bit of leg room next to me. So it was absolutely really well done it was amazing to see and as you can see the theater looked astounding and just magical before the show had even started our final stop in london is king's cross st pancreas before catching the train home we got home at about nine o'clock so it was a really long day but well worth it as i've just said we got home at about nine o'clock on the day um so I never did actually film an outro to this video, so I'm doing it now. Um, again, I'd like to apologise for the lateness of this video. Um, this w I originally filmed this back way back in June, as I said, and it was a week after my father had died. So it's been one that I've been trying to work on, but emotionally I couldn't, and I feel a lot stronger now, and I feel a lot better. Um, at the time, I remember a week before my dad passed he did say that he was he wanted us to make sure that we go on this trip so it was quite emotional for me i really did enjoy it though even though there was a lot going on personally it was a fantastic trip we got ellie back here who we got on the day so we got ellie there we picked up a few other bits and bobs we got the book here as well it was an amazing trip i apologize it's taken so long i would have loved to have shared it a lot earlier um, Beauty and the Beast was absolutely amazing. It was so magical. The highlight of it for me was Be Our Guest. It was just amazing to watch the whole stage show. I have still cannot work out how they did Chip. They got a young child and he was in a trolley, but you could see through the trolley. I just couldn't work out how they did Chip. It was just, it was amazingly well done. The special effects, the costumes, the musical performances, Every single bit of the whole of the Beauty and the Beast experience was absolutely amazing. It was a fantastic combination of both the exhibit inspiring Walt Disney and the stage show because there was a lot of Beauty and the Beast as part of the exhibit, as I have shown you in the photos earlier in the video. If you ever do get a chance, if this does return or you get to see um, artwork by Disney, I highly recommend it. Even if you do go and see some of the art that inspired the swing is is a fantastic as a example um, with the dresses and the costume. It was just an amazing thing to learn about and to see how those inanimate objects inspired the animation and came to life in front of us. Beauty and the Beast is a big film 
that inspire that me and my wife grew up with. Both me and Vicky love Beauty and the Beast, as you can probably see from the massive collection that we've got going on here and this guy here. We've grown up with it. We love it. And it was as part of our wedding anniversary. So we did go as part of our wedding anniversary. We had it planned for a long time before my dad passed. So it was a special time for me. I really enjoyed it. Highly recommend if you do ever go and get a chance to go and see a Disney stay show, make sure you go. They are hugely amazing. The, the, like, I don't know how some of the stuff was done. The performances were amazing. The music was fantastic. I just loved every minute of it. It felt so good to actually go and see Beauty and the Beast being performed. I loved going to see in the artwork. It was such a relaxing, chilled out day. Usually when we go to London, we are rushing off our feet because we don't have the time, but we seem to have planned ahead in this time. We got the train down. We got there, plenty of time, visit the Disney store, went to the art exhibition, went back to the Disney store and then went to the theatre. It was so amazing. It was what exactly what we needed. So I apologise I didn't film an outro. I apologise that it has taken this long to do the video. And I appreciate the full support that I keep getting for this channel. I'm loving how this is growing. And again, if you can do anything to support, I really appreciate it. Liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, whatever you can do. I am just appreciative of all of it. Stay tuned for more videos. Um, and again, hopefully we've got some more days out coming. Thanks for staying with the channel and we will see you all real soon.